Hey guys, welcome to my Toontown Rewritten Let's Play, and I'm Shala Meow Meow here, and this is my first video on YouTube, and I just wanted to say hello, and you know, that uh, we're gonna play as this tune, and yes, we're starring Shala Meow Meow, <laughs> and happy Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. Yeah, it just seemed appropriate that uh, I would say hello to you guys and use this tune because this tune is kind of the one that uh, made the name of the channel aside from my Final Fantasy XIV character, who is actually a cat girl, you know, couldn't resist. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I figure today we're going to play some Toontown and get started and you know, I'm just a guy that likes video games and I just really enjoy streaming and, you know, I've done YouTube back in high school, but uh, it never really took off and now I think uh, it's a good time to do it and I recently came across some new streaming equipment and I just got a Nintendo Switch and I'm excited to play some games and share with whoever's willing to watch, you know, and just have a fun time. So, uh, yeah, let's get to defeating some cogs with some gags. Yeah, you know, and uh, I used to play this game back when it was uh, Disney's Toontown. And then uh, not long ago, the, literally uh, back in like October or something, I discovered that Toontown Rewritten even was a thing. And obviously I'm a decent way into the game already. But uh, let's... Uh, look at some tasks. I got 16 pencil pushers, 12 downsizers, and some buildings. Let's see what uh, districts we're in. You know, so make sure we're in one that's actually populated and doesn't have a event going on. And these are all the cogs that exist. Um, I've uh, killed quite a few of them. They've all gone kablooey. You know, and I've noticed that sometimes the easier cogs are in the roads that lead towards Mickey's land. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just trying to remind myself what were they again. But yeah, anyways, I uh, used to play this game back when I was like, I don't know, I must have been like 10 or 12. Like... You know, and it was really my first real MMO aside from EVE Online, which I've played for, you know, pretty much since I was 11. And around that same time, I played this. And I remember saying to all the people in EVE, and they'd all kind of laugh, be like, yeah, I play Toontown, you know. And everybody else is like, I play WoW, <laughs> you know. But uh, I would be the one that was like, yeah, I play Toontown. And, you know, honestly, this game really is a game for all ages. You know, you can't really go wrong, you know. But yeah, you know, it's just fun. Just the different gags and the little dancing. And I like all the sound effects, you know, it's really addicting. It's kind of relaxing in a way. You know, just watching them blow up and, you know slowly watching your bars increase it's all pretty fun and maybe occasionally risking a building sometimes you can wait but I don't really have anybody online right now so yeah you know right now I'm just kind of defeating random ones but uh, you know I'm not seeing any ones for my tune task right now you know sometimes certain streets only have certain like types of cogs in varying amounts. This street seems to be lacking in cell bots or boss bots. Well, actually, it's got cell bots, but it doesn't seem to have as many boss bots, and I think what we're looking for are boss bots. Maybe a certain kind of cell bot. I can't remember which kinds they were. But I know it's like the green looking guy and Pencil Pusher. I think Pencil Pusher is a boss bot. <clears throat> yeah. 
Toontown Central always has a few pencil pushers. Super squirt. <laughs> Thought. Yeah, so actually those give you bonuses, so if I had squirt gags right now, I would be able to get a bonus from using squirt. Uh, so like if you didn't already know that, that's a that's a good tip. Uh, like So like whatever you see dancing, if, if it's like that and it's squirt, and if it's, you know, sometimes you'll see something say super drop, or maybe there'll be like a sound related thing, and more likely in Minnie's Velody Land. You know, different places have different ones. Um, I'm not really sure if the mailbox does anything. But, uh... Yeah. But yeah, you know, I'm just really just doing this for fun. You know, obviously, maybe eventually down the line, uh, if I get popular... Who knows, maybe I'll make money and be viral like PewDiePie, but well, you know, obviously holding that out. But uh, it's obviously, and that's not really the goal. Like, really, I just do this because it makes it funner for me. I honestly think playing games is funner when you share your experiences with somebody, especially games like Minecraft. I'll probably do Minecraft at some point. I'll probably do. Uh, I have some Nautica, and I, I've honestly been wanting to do YouTube for years, and I, like ever since I saw Jack Sepp, the guy play Subnautica, like I bought Subnautica, but like honestly, never. Like I want, I didn't want to play it unless I was streaming it on YouTube. Like for me, it just didn't make sense to even play it without doing that. So you know, whoever wants to watch me play it, they're free to watch. Otherwise, you know, and I'll just talk like people are going to watch, and hopefully they do. You know, hopefully this gets some views, and I'm happy to have whoever watches it. You know, I like this. This game's actually kind of fun. <clears throat> kind of forgot to, how to play for a second. Yeah. And then I actually... I don't know. It took me a while to actually get good. At first, when I first did this game, it was like really hard. They didn't have this game, I think, when I first played the game. This is a newer one. Yeah, and then yeah. I always try to buy the better gags first. <clears throat> try to keep a variety, a little bit of everything. I'm trying to get up my squirt. I'm not I'm pretty close to the next squirt and. You know, next sound, next drop. Yeah, but honestly, with how much drop misses, I almost kind of regret getting drop. Drop just, it just misses almost all the time. It's, for if I get five drop gags, you know, it maybe hits one out of five times. You know, and I mean the more higher the drop, the higher percentage, I think. And I think there's certain things, like I can't remember if it's, Squirt, maybe if you if you know there's what if anything uh, increases the drop likelihood, you know maybe leave that in the comments, you know. Uh, but I think it, I think it's if throw or squirt, I think one of those maybe if increases. I know you can't hit if you lure, like if somebody lures, you can't hit drops. Now we're gonna hit, and then you know, I think sound maybe might increase the likelihood not really sure but yeah literally honestly this is the first time I've played this game since probably like last September maybe no not September uh, probably like November but uh, yeah last semester because uh, I'm actually in college I'm a student and uh, I'm an English major uh, and basically I got really busy last semester and couldn't play anymore like I just had to stop like to focus on school and you know I had like four literature classes and uh, basically you know there was like one time where I had 20 different novels to read and 
that was one weekend where I had five novels and two essays to write in one weekend. So, but you know, yeah, I, one day I want to be a creative writer and write fiction, and I think that'll be fun. But yeah, so I try, I'm uh, moving to this district because I'm, this district has literally all of the right guys to do my tune task. So, let's try to find some downsizers here. Expect diminishing returns. Oh yeah, so like this, when it's bouncing uh, orange like that, uh, you get a bonus. So it's like higher points when you hit them. So normally that probably wouldn't have done that much damage. So I guess the mailbox must be throw. Yeah, because I guess it's spitting out the mail and that means throw. So yeah, so let's just uh, complete this tune task and get going. And I think I'm going to be one step closer to my tune-up track. You know, and at first, I, back in the day, I used to be like, why would I ever get Tune Up or why would I ever get Lure? It, it never really made sense to me as a little kid. But now, especially because Toontown is like kind of like, especially without Super Chat as a kid, it's very antisocial. Like, I mean, they obviously have these little things you can say that are pre-said like you can just say whatever you know, you know you can't just type out whatever if you're a kid and you have it turned off the super chat so like I, don't, I always thought that this game's kind of anti-social like it's not the same as like in eve like in eve online i have lasting friendships that i still talk to and i have friends on facebook that i know all over the country and all over the world that doesn't really happen in Toontown because it's oriented towards kids, which is kind of unfortunate because it's an online game where you can't really ever have any kind of, you know, you have a good time with people, but you never really get to know them, you know? Like, I, you just kind of add whoever to be your friend just so you can go into a building with them occasionally, you know? Because you all just want to do the same thing. You have this all same goal, you know? And that's it. Like, there's really no. That always was the one thing I felt this game was lacking. Like, you know, this game would be so much better if it was. I mean, I guess it is technically teen and up. I don't know if it was rated. Kids, but I mean, obviously, parental. If you want to let your kid play it, I know I think so. But I think that's why Super Chat exists. So I think, in some ways, if you're on a server that allows Super Chat, because obviously, if you don't have, then you would be limited to certain servers uh, by like parental controls or something. But like. If you have super chat you should be able to be like you should just be able to say whatever you want like I know that there's actually like if you get caught saying hey I live here or blah 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 or you know there's certain things you just literally can't say in Toontown or else you'll get banned from super chat which I always thought was kind of unfortunate like it kind of I really think it limits how much you can get to know people and most of them are I'm sure I don't know how many people are you know, older, like, I mean, I'm 25, but, uh, you know, I'm 25 and in college, so I don't really know how many people are coming back to this game as adults now and playing it for fun, but, uh, it's an interesting thing, but yeah, I mean, I always loved Disney, Disney's great, and Toontown is probably one of my favorite games from my childhood, honestly. I always like the way they grow up, and then the little, the dance scene is always like, I don't know, it just makes you feel victorious. Yeah, 
Yeah, so we probably only have a few more cogs here to defeat. Oh, there. So now we can actually make use of the super squirt. is getting kind of low, but I'm thinking I'll probably be fine. I really focused this time on getting my laugh really high so I wouldn't really have to worry about it. Whenever I see a laugh boost, I always go for it. I'm trying to max out my laugh in this uh, let's play now, I guess. But, uh, but yeah, you know, I'll probably now record just about every time I play this game and whenever I play games in general, so you'll probably see at least one video a week probably maybe even more than that um because i got a lot of time this semester um i really only taking three classes so and they're all pretty easy so you know i have a lot of time and you know you might even see one every other day or every week but you know i figure in my mind the way to really get people watching I honestly think it's a numbers game, like I feel like the more videos you have, the more likely you are to get noticed, the more likely that more people will see your channel. Um, so I think I, uh, that's pretty much what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to enjoy talking to whoever, and you know, I, you know, I just see what other YouTubers like Markiplier and PewDiePie and you know, the big ones. You know, Jacksepticeye. Like, I mean, I watch them go from thousands to millions to next thing you know. You know, you know they're huge. So, you know, that's kind of what I want. I, I just see their lifestyle and it's fun. And, you know, if you can make money, great. If not, it's fun. I mean, I'm doing it because it's fun. And, you know, if it wasn't fun, I probably wouldn't do it but uh and that's why i'm not just going outside making stupid random videos or you know because i do i mean i have a camera but i haven't really decided if i want to actually put my you know face in the videos yet but uh you know maybe but you know so that's it for that tune task and uh i think this guy's gonna bump into me i gotta be careful here but uh yeah, so I think uh, we'll call that a day. That's one tune task down, and you know I'll see you guys next time, and have a tune tastic day, and subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it.